Let's look at this problem for a few minutes. It talks about a hacker who's trying to, uh, to discover a password, and it describes how the password is created. Now, somehow, the, the hacker knows that there's only 15 characters in this particular password. So this is a password with 15 characters. We want to look at the set of all passwords that have 15 characters in them. And the characters are made up of lowercase alphabet letters, uppercase alphabet letters, and the digits from 0 to 9. So imagine what the password looks like. It's got 15 characters. I'm going to put a little box here for each one of the 15 different characters. So each one of these boxes, we're going to put one of those characters in. What we need to know is how many choices we have to fill each box. In particular, if we know how many different ways we can put a character in this box, and then how many in this box, and so on, then we could just multiply that number. Uh, we, we can multiply each one of those numbers to find the total number of different, uh, different passwords. So there's the first question. How many ways can we fill this first box? Well, there's 26 lowercase le letters. There's 26 uppercase letters. And there are 10 digits. So there's 26 lowercase letters plus the 26 uppercase letters plus the 10 digits. For a total of 62 ways that we can fill in the first uh, character. Then each one of the other characters can also be filled in with 62 characters because we can use any of them uh, repeated as many times as we want. So now we're prepared to calculate the probability that the hacker can guess this on the first try. Of all the passwords that can be written in this form, there's only one of them that's the right one. So how many total passwords are there of this kind? Well, it will be 62 times 62 times 62 until we get uh, up to 15 of them. So it's going to be... So the point is that there's going to be 62 raised to the 15th power different passwords. So the probability of guessing it is going to be 1 over 62 to the 15th or equivalently 1 over 62, that fraction raised to the 15th power. So let's see how my open math is allowing me to enter that. We can enter a mathematical expression. So the answer could be written 1 over 62 to the 15th. And that looks like the way that we want to, to calculate that. Uh, look at it, it gives you a preview here. And of course, that's an extremely small number. It says that it's equal to 0. It's really not. Is, but it, but the probability is so tiny that they're that uh, they're saying that it should be equal to zero. Yeah, I've pulled up an R console to use as a calculator. So let's look at one over sixty-two raised to the fifteenth power. And notice what that's saying. It's in scientific notation, but it's saying that this decimal point would need to be moved to the left by 27 decimal places so it would be 20 point and then 26 zeros and then a 130543 so that's an extremely small number and that's why they're saying that it's uh, the probability is essentially zero so here's the point we had to count carefully how many different ways we could fill in an individual slot here it's going to be 26 for all the lowercase letters, another 26 for all the uppercase letters, and then another 10 for the, uh, for the digits, giving us a total of 62 different ways that we could fill in that one slot. So the way we could fill in the entire, um, uh, the, the, the entire password would be uh, 62 to the 15th power because there's 15 slots here. Okay, hope that helps.